a recipe by local cook local we've been using local ingredients we want to thank the folks at Ica I I C E for making it possible guys we're using three ingredients that we have tossed to none other than Chef Cheryl and Show <laughs> Charles today ladies and gentlemen three ingredients and these three ingredients are the very famous well-known red gold Maruga Hill rice, rice. Mm -hmm. With this rice, this is a very special rice, Chef is going to explain this rice in a bit. Um, we are also pairing it with Vieira Farms tilapia. So I think the homebred, homegrown mm -hmm. tilapia yeah, right, right here in, in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. As well as just these tomato relish. Just these also as a chow chow. I love a chow chow. Eh? I think I can I drink chow chow. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we know it. why because it goes with it goes with ham head. it goes with ham so that makes it i really think i can drink chow chow so just these ones are the chow chow but she has a green tomato Red. relish that yes. you're using today yes what are you doing with these ingredients chef so what's the best thing you know i i thought okay tilapia you know people normally may fry it yeah. um, fillet it but the nice thing about it is a perfect size and what I loved about it is that it came already dressed. So it was clean, nicely right. clean. I, yes. So you don't have to clean so and you don't have cut to it do, and that kind do of Do anything. Lovely. Right? And the maruga rice, hill rice, has a nice nutty um, brown rice flavor to it. Mm. So what I did with it is I sort, I blended up some pimento, ginger, and garlic. I sauteed that down, and then I add the rice to it. So I added one cup of rice to let's say, I use about three and a quarter cup of liquid to literally cook the rice the way I want it. Okay. Right? And flavored it up, and I decided to stuff it in the tilapia. Of course, you stuff the rice. Stuff the rice in, in the, the tilapia. tilapia. Oh, right. so you stuff, okay, I did stuff in the rice in the tilapia. And that's like a stuffing. Uh, it's yeah, like a stuffing. stuffing. Yeah, it's like yeah, a stuffing. Okay, okay. Right? Well, go through that rice because this rice is mm -hmm. not. You just can't boil this rice. No, you like just can't rice. boil it like normal. So as I said, but even though I added three and a quarter cup of liquid, yeah. I added it incrementally. Right. So I didn't add all at once. So a cup of the rice. Right. So one cup of the rice. So I added a cup first. I let that on a low fire right. because you know. If it's a rice that you're using for the first time, yeah. you want to learn how it, it interacts, right. right? And then I added two more cups, and then I added the last quarter cup. When that was absorbed, I turned the stove off, covered the pot, and let the rice finish steam. Right, right. I understand that it also goes well if you use like coconut milk and you just steam mm -hmm. it in a coconut yeah. milk. It, 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 it goes well I think well. the, the what what I found with it, it absorbed any flavor. Right. So it would absorb the coconut milk, right. the broth, um, as I said, the pimento, ginger and garlic yeah, that those, I all used. Those, all those aromatics. All those the, aromatics mm, mm. that I used. Yeah. And as I said, I cooked it down first so that you get those aromatic Flavors coming out and then add the rice. Can I, can I just taste before you sound? Sure. It? Yeah, let me just. Um, I've, I've never heard, had it. I, I've heard so much about it. Um, and I've really never had it. So you see, you get that nuttiness. And to me, I swear when I was, you know, cooking it, I got a little, you know, cocoa scent out of it. Yeah, so the nuttiness, as you said, and then I'm tasting your flavors that you just spoke about right. all the aromatics, the ginger, the pimentos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it really just absorbs the flavor. Whatever, it just whatever. absorbs mm -hmm. the flavor, and as you rightfully said, you it's can delicious. use the coconut milk or you can yeah. use whichever you choose. Yeah, but you just don't want to serve this rice just like this. No, of course not. Why? No, you know it's no. not. You know. That's so what you're going to do with the people rice. So I made a little um, rub with right. paprika, um, some Creole seasoning, some oil, right. right? On which I rubbed on the fish. So nice I put it all inside, all inside, you know, to make sure. What's in sure. that magicness that you're doing? What's, what's in that? What's in that magic rub there, sir? Some paprika. Paprika. My own um, homemade mixer Creole seasoning, which right. has onion powder, garlic powder, you know, all that kind of stuff yeah, in that's it. That's a chef special. Yeah, chef yeah, special. special. Black pepper. <laughs> right. And some oil. And oil. Just oil. Some oil. Right. But mm. well, you can use your own spice mix. You could use your own spice mix, however you want. Right. Right. And a nice rub down. And a nice rub down. And then I took the rice. 
and just stuffed it in there. Now remember too, what the rice is going to do while this is cooking, the rice is going to take on the flavors of the fish as well, eh? because remember you have the juices from the fish. Yeah, that's good. When, and you, you're baking or frying this? I am baking it, you're baking but this. I bread it before. I had some seasoning, seasoned breadcrumbs, and I baked it for about in 350 for about um, 25 to 30 minutes. Right. Right? Because the fish wouldn't take long to fish cook. Fish wouldn't yeah, take long to cook. Minutes. This is a full meal, chef. It is a this full is meal. It is a full meal. In the tarapia. Yeah. Right. And there we have it. Now, what I also did is I sprinkled some oil on top of it. Right. So what it did, it gave me that, you know, when you first see it, you think it's fried. I thought it was fried. But it's not fried. Right. right? And as I said, you put it in the oven, 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You have a full meal. And I put the green tomato relish. As, as a dressing on top. As a dressing top. on top of it. Because the green tomato relish have that little acidity in it. Right. That you will normally, like, you know, when like, you're having fish. Yeah, like You will lime. normally have a little lime, lime to right, go with it. Right, right. So the pairing is Perfect. Yeah, this green tomato relish. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's strong, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's perfect. It balances it off well. And as you rightfully said, you have a full meal. You have a healthy Maruga Hill rice to go with your homegrown tilapia. Can't get better than that. Can't get better than that. <laughs> and all these ingredients are locally done, locally produced locally packaged right here in Toronto Tobago. Um, so buy local, cook mm -hmm. local guys. Uh, this fish, as I said, check, check, check them out online. Mm -hmm. um, all the information is, is, is really online. This, this is a farm, Viera Farms, I think located up, up in the East West Corridor. Yes, they um, are. They Orange are Grove on, yeah. on that side. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and this Maruga Hill Rice, as I said, world famous rice. It's a healthy rice shop. It is, it um, is. And, and it's easy to do, really just as I said, not, not like ordinary rice, it takes flavor well mm -hmm. and you just have mm -hmm. the nice flavor. And it's, nice it's just a little patience and I always believe in buying local and I think this is the time period because yeah. of what we are going through is a perfect time for us to buy local, use local because we have very good products yeah. coming and, out from Trans And let's stimulate the local Con economy. Yes. Okay guys, that's our food recipe. Roll out a recipe brought to you by these fine folks here. Uh, I'm going to try this relish. Chef. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. these green tomato relish. Come on back. I'm rolling out another recipe right after this. And remember, black still to come. Roll out a recipe is brought to you in part by Red Gold Maruga Hill Rice. Kent Farms and just these tomato relish.